Made a, a friend and a friend in New Hampshire, <laughs> Farrell. If you're watching this, I'm going to tell. Yeah. Wrote me a very poignant thing the other night, and he he has a 650 <laughs> XT motorcycle, mm -hmm. and I've got a 500 XT motorcycle, mm -hmm. and I had a five another 500 XT motorcycle that my son Peter took mm -hmm. over, and uh, had to go buy myself another one. Anyway. This fellow is the uh, apparently a world's expert on just a hobbyist of 650 XT motorcycles, mm -hmm. which is the same bike, just a different size mm -hmm. motor. And the person that publishes a website about 650 motorcycles uh, wrote this gentleman a letter and thanked him for all the questions he'd answered mm -hmm. and his input mm -hmm. and everything. And could he do anything for him? And Farrell, I'm sorry, sorry, said your name, but sorry, he wrote me the same kind of thing and said, "Is that?" Here's what I was given. Is that why you answer all these questions? Because we're paying to answer questions for free. And so it's sure it's a marketing mm -hmm. thing a bit, mm -hmm. but we're really doing it. I think you're doing this to spread the word and help people. You don't need the money. I know that. You, you're doing it because you want to spread your knowledge. You want to train other people to do it. It's the new medicine is what it is. It's the new medicine. It's the <clears throat> thing that should be in every That's school right. and every place. It, it helps people. If we had this in the schools and we did just a really, well, I mean, my book shows you how to do it uh, with six minutes of recording time. If we did that in the school, screened every kid and, and found the, what these areas of inefficiency were, lots of these conditions can be uh, taken care of at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly with a uh, trained uh, TA in the school, we could save a fortune to say nothing of, uh, you know, a lot of grief on the Not having 50% of the kids in Kelowna lined up getting Ritalin or down in Sarasota, Florida, where the other one is. I mean, there are schools where they've got 50% of the boys taking right. drugs. Yeah. Lined up so that they become little menses or whatever mm -hmm. they are. Well, you know my feeling about that. We medicate because people can't tolerate children's behavior. <clears throat> yeah, decent kid. We're medicating normal children's behavior. It's an outrage. And there's really nothing... I'm, I'm going to make the comment. You can tell me I'm wrong. But there have been some really fantastic people that were ADD. Like people say Einstein was ADD. Mm -hmm. And Captain Cook was ADD. And my feeling about it is that the kids that were ADD in school, mm. they all became the locomotive engineers and the pilots and because they like exploring or something? Is, or am I right on well, that? Well, there's or? one form of ADD that I think when we were hunters and gatherers was really uh, very beneficial. And this is the form in which you're easily distracted and you can hyper-focus. That's, and that yes. seems to be pretty good if uh, you're either hunted or hunting. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Focus when you need to and, and see what's going on around you. distracted. Yeah. You know, keep track of everything. That's right. Okay. And, you know, we, uh, when we uh, treat these kids, uh, they don't lose a lot of that. And we just make it so that they well, have better control so they I'd can like what you said. You, you can cure the ADD, but you can't cure adolescence. <laughs> Remember telling me that one time? Yes. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I've still got mine. <laughs> no, it was Richard Pitt, if you heard that, though, over the bikes. Um, you can cure ADD. You can't cure adolescence. You, can't, you can cure an alcoholic, but not if he sits on a bar stool all the time. Hello, I'm going to use Les, who phoned in. He's got liquor all over the place, and he can be at a party with booze mm -hmm. everywhere, and everybody's got a beer in their hand, and he doesn't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's... So I ruined his social life. <laughs> I don't think so. He's a very social person. <clears throat> yeah, in all seriousness, what happens uh, when we're successful in treating the back of the brain <clears throat> of a genetically predisposed alcoholic is they lose interest in it. Mm -hmm. And what about... That? What about drugs, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, all that kind of thing? Everyone's different. Uh, you know, amphetamines are very different than alcohol, very different than uh, cannabis. You know, we used to think that cannabis was a benign alternative to alcohol. It's a deadly drug mm -hmm. in terms of what it can do in terms of uh, slowing down frontal, uh, you know, frontal activity in the brain. 
So, you know, I'm very straightforward with kids about it. You know, if you want to do you it, you'll have wonderful ideas, but you won't be uh, able won't, to follow through. You won't do anything them. with any one of them. And you'll start to make yourself stupid. Huh? Can you uh, can you take somebody that is I'm going to say addicted to marijuana or addicted to cocaine and get rid of that too? Uh, provided they're on board, that's what I mean by they I have to be agreeing. I can't keep you sober on a bar stool. That metaphor applies to all of these things. Uh, that you're going to have to make some changes. Change takes effort. You know we can help a lot by not by changing the predispositions you might have in the brain. Uh, but, uh, you know, we need some effort from the you. The person has to want to participate. That's right. And we often run into circumstances in which the person is looking for a magic bullet. You know, a person comes in, they're severely depressed, they're over-medicated on every conceivable medication, and uh, they want a magic bullet. Uh, well, the fact of the matter is, so uh, you're going to have to titrate you down off the medication, and you're going to have to feel like other people feel. You're going to have to go through periods of downs and periods of ups. You know. Well, we all do. That's right. The happiest person has the odd down, down moment. By titrate, you mean what? To reduce the Gradually medication by ten percent or five percent right. or something? Exactly. So if they're on twenty, they go to nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen type Bingo. of thing. How long does it take to do that? Depends on the drug. <clears throat> there are some that are very forgiving, and you can come down pretty quickly. There are others that are just a nightmare to come off. Now you have to come down really slowly and sit there for a while, and then come down a little slower. Yeah. Now I think of you as a drugless psychologist, drugless. Hmm. Cure, but you do have a place for drugs. Sometimes you said to me. Oh, absolutely! Sometimes. I don't have a knee-jerk reaction against drugs. <clears throat> uh, if somebody's ready well, explain to, that then. To, because yeah, sure. If somebody's ready to jump off the Broad Street Bridge, <clears throat> then as one of my staff members' daughter or sons did, yes. Yeah. Then. It may well be. I mean, you're talking about this. Uh, this is why I'm so close to this. Because yeah. at one time I had 3,500 employees, mm -hmm. associates, mm -hmm. and you couldn't have anything happen that didn't happen to their kids and their families. Sure. I know mm -hmm. some. One of our. One. Of, I don't know if you ever met. If you met, join a salute to George, George Aurora, because we didn't. Uh, my fellow here for five years. Uh, he left here on January the 10th to take a new job in the Napa Valley. Reported for work on January the 18th. They told him to come back one week later to take to give him a bunch mm -hmm. of stuff to go back, familiar him size himself. Come on back next week. Didn't show up. They didn't know where he was living. They couldn't even give him a phone call type of thing. He was died in his apartment two days later, 45 years old, a heart attack, and they didn't find him until February the 18th. Mm -hmm. um, just about a month. I mean, and that's just last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about. Uh, this uh, we all know somebody that this your stuff helps. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, I butt in there. Yeah. In any event, you know there there's a role for medication <coughs> to get a person from place A to place B if uh, you know that's necessary. So and we work with physicians and psychiatrists and so forth who uh, help us along with regard to some of these issues. Uh, and what I'm not a, a big fan of is uh, drugging behavior. Uh, you know, we have a kid who's defiant, so you medicate him instead of doing, you know, the parenting and the behavioral control and taking care of any predispositions they may have in brain activity. Well, Stephanie mentioned Terry Rhodes, and Terry Rhodes is running classes on family be family dynamics, is he not? Mm -hmm. That's right. <clears throat> and Terry does a lot of our family dynamic uh, work. You know, all, all disorders are family disorders, <clears throat> so that... Uh, uh, if a child has uh, defiance problems, then the whole family has to participate in the treatment. <clears throat> I mean, we can fix the brain, you know, but then we have the other issues. If you don't solve outside things, it ain't going to work. That's right. Putting a new engine in a car doesn't do any good if the transmission's not working. Yeah. yeah. And if a parent walks in and says, fix my child, you know, we have to sit them down and say, this is a family disorder. Okay. How about getting people to... I mean, I got a brother, a sister. How do I get some? I have, I have one client that I've been trying to get to go to you for 12 years, and I cannot get this man mm. to go. Mm -hmm. He likes to lead you as much as anybody I've ever met. Mm -hmm. uh, traumatic. Somebody killed himself in front of him, and he was. 
Yes. He cure erectile dysfunction. Oh. Does he on, want going to ask no. it on the air? No. Erectile dysfunction, uh, that's a blood thing. It's all in your head sometimes. I think that's what most doctors say. How about that? A lot of factors associated with that. <clears throat> and uh, we treat individuals who, uh, who have that condition. Uh, depends on what's causing it. Uh, and very often it's, uh, it's anxiety. It has nothing at all to do with blood flow. <clears throat> so you can sometimes cure it? Mm. Caller?